beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you know this channel is all about entrepreneurship, inspiring entrepreneurs, inspiring business, all about starting a business, running a business, growing a business, and all of the things in between. I also talk about candles because that is my main baby and I want to help other people who are out there and want to start candle businesses with that business. But I also want to help all business owners to be able to have the right resources to learn from some of the mistakes that I have made and to also gift information to you all that I found out that you may not be a, may not be privy to. Um, so I like to give all of that information and to just help you in any way that I can on the business front because that's so important. So anyway, I just did a video and I thought, you know what, let me cut this camera back on and cut this video as well because I don't want to go edit the other video and then, you know, it takes me a few days to get this one done and then I can't release it as soon as I would like. So what we're going to talk about today is how to find investors and I found an investor list so no I'm not gonna sell it to you is going to be free it is not $20 I'm gonna show you how to find it and how to get it so here we go don't sleep on the SBA go to SBA.gov then I want you to go click on funding programs investment capital once you click on investment capital you can look at all the content, um, what you can get, check on your eligibility. I'm clicking on find an investor because that's what I need to do. This is going to require some cold calling, you know, um, or emailing and hoping that they get back to you. So you can pick the industry, you can pick likely investing, of course, because if they're not investing, then it's a waste of your time to even look them up. And then I want you to pick your state. And then you filter. You can download this as a CSV file and go through it and filter through it. Write notes on the side, whatever you want to do. But when you look at this, there's two pages of investors in my state that are likely investing in businesses that I can email or I can call to get someone on the phone and talk about how they may be able to help my business. So, I mean, I think this information is really priceless. If someone's willing to invest in your business, that's great. If not, then you tried. Running a business is hard bootstrapping a business is even harder because you're taking your nine to five income and you're using the income that you work for in your nine to five job to pay for marketing to pay for materials now if you're selling a physical product you'll sell your product and you can use the money that you earn um, from selling your product and put it back into your business which of course you should do um, to buy more inventory and to do more advertising but there are still some points especially with a new business in the very beginning where you have to use your own money sometimes you luck out and you get grants whether that be government grants or whether that be grants from different businesses that are just trying to help entrepreneurs you don't get those you know what i'm saying every day or every month or whatever so those are sporadic you may get three a year you may get one a year you may get none a year but you can utilize that money to help with your business what i'm trying to say is you need to look in all avenues when it comes to business look for investors like these um make sure that it's right for you and your business if you're going to be investing and they're asking for equity or royalties or whatever it is make sure that it's right for you don't just sign on the dotted line if you feel like well that's too much equity or i don't want to give away any royalties or anything like that then walk away so look for investors i've also told you about iFund women iFund women does crowdfunding for women businesses kickstarter does crowdfunding if you want to do that there's a new um investing program called honeycomb and how honeycomb works is Let's say you're trying to open a physical brick and mortar store and you just don't have the capital to revamp this store. 
Honeycomb basically gets investments from your, um, what would be customers. And those customers invest in your business. But you do have to pay an interest rate back to these particular investors. It is not free money. You have to pay interest on it. And you have to pay all of it back. Um, so that's one way if you have tried to get you know a business loan you try to get grants you try to get investors and none of that worked out for you maybe honeycomb may be the best bet for you i will leave a link in the description for that below so this investor list is definitely something that you should look into it can help you um especially if the investors that you're calling are willing to invest in your business hopefully they're angel investors but not all of them are um so like I said, just email, just call, see what they're all about and go from there. So that was quick. That was short. That was dirty. You got what you needed. You know where to go to get the investors list. And I gave you some other options as well. I will leave a link for those things below. If you want me to do a more in-depth video on Honeycomb, iPhone Women, Kickstarter, all of that stuff to talk about um, crowdfunding, then just let me know and I will do so because in business, capital is king. You simply need it. I know that firsthand. So anyway, thank you for watching this video, loves, and I will see you next time. Bye.